Hey everybody, so um, I'm making a dish that I really like, a side dish I really like. Um, my recipe uh, I use is from, it's a lady called, um, her name's Little Luna, and um, I really like her recipes. This is her Spanish rice recipe. I've never done it in the Instant Pot, um, but um, I'm learning that a lot of things that... Um, you could do on the stove. You could um, you could use doing this because it's basically when you um, do it in the saute mode or um, soup mode or uh, soup. I, you could use it both ways, but um, for example, the saute mode. You got yogurt on here, porridge, oatmeal, um, soup, broth, cake. So many things I wouldn't probably do in here, but. Um, if you do it in saute mode, you have the lid off and you just do it like this. Right here in this step, I'm just browning up some rice. Um, and for this recipe, I don't recommend using jasmine, even though jasmine is the type of rice I prefer typically. Um, for this, I'm using two cups of this long grain rice because this, to me, in my opinion, holds up better than that. In this recipe, because of the longer cooking process, I think even with the instant pot, I mean, that would shorten the cooking. Um, I think it's the same deal though, ultimately, because when I did it in a pot, uh, with jasmine rice, I think year, a few years ago, it came out real mushy and stuff like that. And also, because I don't think, I don't remember when I used it doing this step right here, browning the, uh, rice in some oil. So. Let me put a little drop more because I added a little bit more rice to this. So, yeah, um, just browning this rice up. And, um, yeah, this is a real easy recipe from her. Uh, all you need is broth or water, four cups broth or water, um, garlic, hers, she uses tomato soup, oh yeah, tomato sauce. Um, but you can also use, uh, they have a product I used to like using, um, I think it's called Sofrita. I forget what it's called. It's tomato and cilantro and everything in a jar, like a little sauce. But, um, since this was kind of on a whim, like the last time I was a Winco, I got this stuff, so I didn't get to that store. And I, I don't remember going to that aisle either for, the, for that. Um, okay, and then also you need... Oh, two cups of rice, veggie oil, eight ounce tomato sauce, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of garlic, four cups broth or water, a dash of cumin, dash of garlic pepper. Okay. So right now I'm just um browning the rice. And she just said don't um overdo it in the browning the rice part. Just do it enough to where it gets kind of like a golden brown color. And for one of the spices, I just remembered I have some of this. So I'm going to use that. Um, let me open this tomato sauce. Does this have Oh, this has cumin in it. Cumin. This pretty much has all the stuff in it. Garlic, cumin. Okay. Let me tell you, baby, the changes I've been going through. Missing you, missing you. I mean, the people outside are like, you shut up. <laughs> Like I'm coming to America when he was singing. So open up this can of tomato sauce. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. This coriander out the way. I'm gonna wash that in a minute. Okay, so I'm done with the oil. Okay, so it's getting kind of like that golden color. I mean, it's still white for the most part, but you can tell that for the most part, it's getting that look to it. And this is, again, this is in saute mode. So, um, with saute mode, have the lid off. Um, in fact, let me just show it. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. So, here's my rice. And, um, trying to get it, like, just. Well, some of it is at that point, but it still needs a few more minutes, I think. She, they just said, like, when you're doing this method, don't, well, I will brown it. Okay. It's round. Trying to make it work. Well. Okay. So... I don't know if I have enough uh, stock left, so I'm going to probably have to, I'm probably just going to supplement it with water either way, just so, um, you know, because this is the full so, uh, sodium one, I wouldn't pay attention. So, once this one's gone though, this is it, because I, I think I used the other one on when I made, I think when I made the gumbo, I'm not sure. So, and like the thing is, when you use it like in rice and things like that, you really taste it. But when you do it in other things where you kind of need flavor, I feel like I still had to put like more stuff for my to my taste. So, I think it depends what you're preparing with that stuff. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot more brown here. So I'm just gonna um. Start the process in a minute. I'm gonna give another minute or two. Um, let me get my measuring cup ready. So you need four cups of this uh, broth. So let me see how much is exactly in this thing. These things go really quick. That's why I think better than bouillon um, is a better. Uh, Okay, this isn't even going to be two cups. <laughs> it's barely two cups. <laughs> okay, so I just got to do two cups with this, two cups with the... Um, what is this? How many ounces is this? Oh. It literally is four cups, so... All right. Oh. Anything. Okay, so... Turn off the, uh, it says turn off the thing after you're done browning it. I think this is fine. I don't want it to get, like, totally overblown brown. Okay, so let that out. Now, this step, you take, uh, what did she say? First, you... Cook rice in oil until going brown. Once brown, add ingredients. Pressure four minutes, release ten. Okay, so um, after you do the oil part and why am I reading the directions upside down? Oh, okay. So you take the tomato sauce, one can of tomato sauce. Oh, you know what? So I can get the rest of the sauce out of here. I'm gonna um let me just coat this. And then um I'm gonna use wait, you know what? This is eight ounces, so I'll just use one cup of water. 
Are you sure this is? Um, two cups of water. And then the chicken stock. That doesn't, you guys, I'm gonna check something real quick. How come it seemed like it was like less than a cup? Oh, like barely. Well, yeah, it is, but. I think it's like we're so used to seeing things in like a bigger size that it's like, what? Okay, so then I'm gonna stir that around. Then I'm gonna add a garlic clove to this. I let them thaw a little bit. I like, they're easier to handle when they're frozen. Stir that around. And um, I'm gonna your toes. Okay, um, let me see much time. Oh, okay, I wanna hurry up and not go too long. Um, and then, oh, I just put a dash of this because I, I like putting this in it, but I'm gonna mostly be using that adobo, so, no, not adobo, what is this? The Saison. Um, she said put garlic pepper, but I'm just gonna put some of this and just to taste and see like what I need because I don't want it to be too crazy. I know there's MSG in that. And then I'm just gonna taste it. And then I'll um, see if I need a little bit more. Mm, that's good. I wonder if I need to put all the rest. I hate these packets sometimes because you don't use the whole thing or, you know, I'll just, I'll just put the rest. I don't think it's going to really kill it or anything, you know, since I'm not going to be putting my usual seasonings in this because I feel like there's already going to be like, okay, so now um, where's my directions? Oh, um, <laughs> I'm like, I'm lost without him. A dash of garlic pepper. Isn't there pepper in this? Yeah, there's pepper in that already. Okay, so. Now that everything's mixed together. I'm going. Oh, you gotta put the lid on. Put my lid on. If you don't have the lid on right, um, it'll tell you lid, lid, lid. So it won't even let you start anything if you have that down. Okay, so then I press pressure cook. And I set the timer for four minutes. Um, but of course, it is longer. And then I press start. It is start. Uh, it is longer because you have to account for the pre the preheating part of it. That's like where uh, they were saying on uh, something I was reading that people kind of get people misled a little bit because people are like, oh, you know, uh, especially like if you're watching um, TikTok. Excuse me, guys. I'm just sweating a little bit because I'm like over this thing and I had to open the door over there. Um. Yeah, it'll say like, oh, five minute meals. And then, um, but really, it's not because you have to wait for it to preheat. And that could be about, that could be so many minutes. I, I haven't really timed it myself, but, um, so yeah, take that into account. But I will be back, you guys, when, um, it's ready. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Well, hey, everybody. So my 10 minute timer just went off for the release part. After it's done cooking, I'm trying not to put it right over it because of the steam, but here it is, you guys. So, I'm going to let it cool, but I don't know. 
Can I put too much liquid? I'm not sure. But I like how it tastes. I'm gonna cool down. And then I usually like to add a little cheese to mine. But um yeah. It came out pretty good. I was scared to open the lid. I was like, oh no, it's gonna be half cooked. Still partially hard. Dude, the steam. Still partially hard. But yeah. So yeah, you guys, here's my Spanish fries. Whoa. Whew. Anyway, you guys, I will talk to you guys later. I'm let this cool down. I'm gonna warm up some beans. Give me a little cheese. They say beans and rice is a um a very filling meal just to heat up real quick when you just need something to heat you just need something in your belly so that'd be good for me in the morning when i don't want to get up and cook mm. all right you guys i'll talk to you guys later have a good one bye